Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV, I'm Brett. It's new month and in my hands is the latest Loot Crate Marvel Gears and Goods. It's a box of goodies delivered to your doorstep and, you know, I think it's pretty straightforward. Done by Loot Crate this is a Marvel-themed box, but this is one that's a little bit different. We're not looking at, like, pop figures and comics and stuff like that. This is more towards stuff you might use every day, which has actually been pretty cool about that. So let's open up and uh, see what's inside. Uh, this is one I actually look forward to because I find it usually has stuff that is useful. Um, you know, it's everything from simple tags for, for you know, luggage to, like, plates to, you know, all kinds of things. I find it pretty cool and helpful and things, you know, we might actually use throughout the day. So this theme is, it's looking like S.H.I.E.L.D. is the, the theme. We got this kind of cool and some really awesome artwork, but really kind of cool, like, briefing from Nick Fury himself. The idea was simple. Protect the world. The blank of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, have been carrying out the mission for decades. We're happy to welcome you to the team. Take a minute to decorate your fan cave with his gear and then hop in the blank. You've got people to save. So first, we got uh, a t-shirt. As I said, these are items that you might actually use, so like clothing counts. And this is, looks like a Shield Academy. They're calling it a Shield Academy t-shirt, which sounds freaking awesome if you ask me. This could be a really cool t-shirt. I like the blue. And yeah, really simple. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of this one. This one is uh, being added to the collection. This will be worn regularly. I would not be shocked if uh, I'm donning this shirt in the next week or so. Uh, this is one of the coolest shirts that I think we've gotten in, in quite a while. Uh, even digging the side, it's got the Shield logo on the uh, on the sleeve, which I think is pretty damn cool. Um, nothing else on it. Nothing nothing that says Loot Crate. Nothing that kind of like tips it off at all. This is just a solid, cool t-shirt uh, that will be worn and worn proudly, especially in DC. That should kind of confuse the crap out of people. All right, well, next we have Shield Heroes bookends. It's a big box. You can see that was a big box. And we've got some bookends here to uh, show off and is the reason for the big box. Uh, all right, so the bad is this one's, well, that was easy to fix. So it was slightly bent, but resolve that issue really, really easy. All right, so we've got bookends. This one of the Avengers. Pretty cool. This is actually a neat bookend. Really big, so this is will hopefully uh, hold up some uh, some large books. Um, weight's pretty decent as well. Um, really cool silhouette, nice design, creative, different. I don't know how else to show this. Hopefully, you get an idea of it. Um, I'm gonna knock that. No, there's no Black Widow there. It's just got. Uh, well, weirdly, okay, so weirdly, no Black Widow, and then the Iron Man actually looks like War Machine because he's got the gun on his shoulder. So that's a little odd. Um, yeah. Well, it does, I mean, outright it says that it's War Machine. So, um, how many members of the Avengers have officially or unofficially been a part of S.H.I.E.L.D. over the years? Captain America, Blank, Hawkeye, War Machine. I'm guessing the, uh, the Blank is the Hulk. Um, of course, we've got Thor as well. You left out Tony Stark, you know, who was the head of S.H.I.E.L.D. at one point. Uh, Alright, this is, this is a cool one. A um, little bum that not getting a little Black Widow action, but uh, that's fine. So overall, it's a, it's a cool concept. I like it. Um, going in the right direction on that one. Alright, next. Next, I get to go my my uh, best David Caruso impersonation. We have shield sunglasses to go with the t-shirt. Not bad sunglasses. Uh, let's see here. I don't look like a complete moron on video. Only partial moron on the video. And uh, it seems like they're doing a decent job covering things up. So this is not bad. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna rock these for the rest of the uh, the video. If you haven't figured it out yet, I don't actually really need my glasses. They're generally for staring at a computer all day. All right, we got uh, after that a Shield Heroes art print. Yeah, I've talked about this before. I'm not the biggest fan of art prints. Um, I, 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 I appreciate them as kind of an extra item in boxes. You know, it's like the, hey, we normally have six bo items and here's a print thrown in for you. Uh, I just feel like they, you know, they're usually of quality that we can print at home nowadays or go to Kinko's and get. Um, 
though the art can be kind of cool. All right, there we go. This is a much better version of uh, the Avengers. So this is here is our print. Uh, it's by Alejandro Garza, which is great to give some uh, some credit on that. We see a nice mix of Shield heroes. Art style's cool. Not necessarily really my art style, but not bad overall. All right, what else we got? And we got two more items. Let me go roll this up. Put it back. In there. All right. We got two more items. This one feels really appropriate since we've seen the flip side with Hydra. This is a shield lapel pin. And it says defend. And for you to rock, rock your uh, loyalty to Shield. As I said, works really well because they also uh, handed out a uh, Hydra lapel pen, so you can confuse people and have uh, Shield on one side, Hydra on the other, or Shield on the outside and have Hydra underneath. That would be actually kind of fun. Um, maybe there'll be a day where I can actually uh, wear this somewhere. I don't have to wear things with lapels all that often. Yeah, and then finally, we've got the pin that they hand out. Um, art looks really familiar on this. This is Falcon Swoosh. Of course, the Falcon rocking it. Really big pin. Give you an idea, that's my hand. So, it's pretty much the palm of my hand. Uh, of course, Falcon is uh, fighting alongside Captain America for years and actually took up the shield for a little bit himself. Overall, not a bad package. Some cool items. Um, overall, it, this was good. Uh, the t-shirt, I think, alone makes it worth it. And the, the glasses, actually, I don't think I really showed off the glasses. I just kind of put them on. It's got the shield logo on the side. That kind of is what makes them shield, apparently. Uh, the glasses actually are somewhat useful. And then you got the, the book, uh, book stand, uh, bookend, which is uh, pretty helpful as well. So, again, the, the Loot Crate Marvel Gears Goods, I think, is, is a good box. Uh, if you are a diehard Marvel fan, go for it. It's uh, it's definitely gives you some cool items that you're not going to get anywhere else. Um, I, I'm going to be rocking this t-shirt. That's all I know. You can go sign up and get the next one. Uh, there's a link underneath this video. It is affiliate link, so we get a small percentage of that. But doing the helps support our site, though. So thank you for that. Now, if you're into Marvel, if you are into comics or if you're into Shield, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr. All that graphic policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, be a member of S.H.I.E.L.D. or HYDRA. Whatever. Keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.